Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hebrews are coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. We ain't playing, yeah. Standing on these corners, yeah. We taking games, yeah. Put them in the Bible, yeah. Ezekiel 37, great and seated on me, yeah. Come see what we about. We'll change it out. We moving out. You my battle life. And what was the war? What you waiting here for? Come see what the hell you're facing. With thee, he'll break the nation. Sounds like a little revelation. Uh, ye the trumpet in Zion. So we are here to blow the trumpet in Zion for the children of Israel in the last day. But the children of Israel don't even want to know that they're the children of Israel. Our people have a desire to stay wicked. Our people have a desire to close their ears up and not want to hear the words of the Lord, right? So we got to come out here with the speakers and blow the trumpet for the children of Israel in the last days, right? Go ahead. And sound an alarm. And do what? And sound an alarm. We're coming out here to sound an alarm for the children of Israel and you nations to let you know that judgment is coming into the earth, right? Go ahead. In my holy mountain. And what? In my holy mountain. And one day we're going to be in that holy mountain, thus saith the Lord. Y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, can I ask you a question real quick, man? You sound like an a, a honest man, right? Is this Jesus Christ? No. No? So, can, uh, what is Jesus? You, you, uh, you a Christian? You are? You go to church every Sunday? Yes. Okay. So, what does Jesus Christ look like? That without... So he look like that without so so like this right here. Hey, some and one of y'all brothers, hold that, hold that up for Because he said that's his God. Right? Real quick, sir. Yeah, that's your man. Alright, so hold on, watch this, right? So he said that's his man right there, right? The image of the beast. We have that as the image. Hey, is that your man too? No, hold on, don't pull him away. You see that? That's how the devil do, right? We want to teach you today. So listen right this. Hold on. This is Revelations, right? Right, real quick. Can I show you your man? Let me show you your man, right? Revelations chapter 1. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So you understand, we're going to reveal to you what Jesus Christ really looked like, okay? Go ahead. Down to verse 13. Let me verse 3. Watch this. Verse 3. So like it. One verse. One verse. Give me your favorite verse. Oh, okay. Well, get to the point. Watch this. Verse 14. Let me get to the point, Paul. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So stop right there. Do he got woolly hair? Nope. No, woolly. Woolly texture. You know, wool is a texture. Does he have woolly texture here? No. You know when you look that word up, right? It say woolly, woolly hair, when you go into it, is the hair of a Negro. Okay? Yeah, you can look that up. Alright, but go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So he had woolly hair, white woolly hair like a Negro, go ahead. As white as snow. And it was beautiful, white as snow, go ahead. His eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire, not because he was Cyclops, but because the Lord drank wine occasionally, right? <laughs> and, and when you go to Genesis 49 and 10, right, that's the prophecy, you understand that, go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like fine brass, right? So what color is fine brass? It's like gold. It's like brass. Brass. Okay, cool. We deal with that. It's like brass, like gold brown, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead. As if. So hold on. So you said it's gold brown. So it can't be like that guy right there, right? So you know what you did? That's 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 two strikes already, right? Right. Let's see. Go ahead. His feet like him to fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. So he was so dark. Right? It was like he burned in the furnace, right? So if you turn around and look at my my uh my fair brother right here, right? You see what he got on you see what he got on his head? You see he got he's repping the tribe of Judah. You see that? So he's the he's the perfect embodiment of what Jesus Christ would look like in a modern form. You understand that? So you look at when you turn around and look at our brother, you looking at Jesus Christ. You looking at the Hamashiach Yahweh side right there on that brother. You see that? From the tribe of Judah, right? Hey, sister, you see that? She's Hispanic? So-called Hispanic? She should be listening. She's perfect? Hey, but understand this. In her perfectness, if she come from the children of Israel, you won't be walking through that gate with her. Okay? Understand that, man. Y'all have to separate, thus saith the Lord. Okay? 
Hey, that's the that's the words of the Lord, man. Right. right? So you gotta know that the devil gotta flee because he knows that that's not his man no more. See that? He said, yeah, that's my man. Right. Right. <laughs> but that's not his man. Right? right? His man is finished. Right. His man is dead. Right. You understand right. that? Our God is a living power, right? Yeah. Our Shaq is a living power. Right. You understand that? This devil been dead a long time, man. Our power resurrected in the spirit. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Uh -huh. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. And that's what we want. Hey, come here real quick. Can I ask y'all a question? You, you, you what? Hey, well, look, see? Hey, that's right. Hey, listen, we want all the heathens to come out here. Y'all can dress how y'all want to, right? But y'all gonna be finished on that day. Lonely out. Right? We want, we want our women to cover up, right. right? So that you can be protected on the day of the Lord. But you damn heathens put on whatever you want, right? right? So, that, so that you can take away the judgment from our sisters. Hey, brothers, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible, brothers? Y'all got time for the words of the Lord? Hey, what's up, my brother? How you doing? Come here real quick. That's fine, brother. You, what what they tell you, brother? What they tell you? <laughs> they, they 10, 15 minutes. What they tell you? I read all the I took it out, man. That's why I brother. Okay, brother. All praise. Hey, you're an Israelite, my brother, okay? All right? I ain't going to build on what they brother. Right, as long as they told you you was an Israelite, keep the commandments and live, brother. All praise to the Most High, all right? Yeah. Boy, she got some boots coming up here. I tell you that. We are Israelites, brother. And we. Well, Hebrew is more so of a language, brother. We the Israelites, okay? By bloodline, you feel me? You would come from there, too, brother. All right? You heard of that? All right, then, brother. Well, well you should listen then. Come build with us. Come stand there and build with us, then, brother. All right. Oh, man. How you doing, sister? I know you came out here for the spirit of the Lord tonight. Come here, can I add, can I give you one scripture, sister? Come here, you got a big cross on your chest. That's a big cross on your chest, sister. Is the, is the Lord on there, Matt? Is, is, he, is he on there, you out here looking like that, sister? The Lord wants you to repent and cover up, sister. That's love! Right? Cover up your breasts in the last days, sister. Right. right? See that? We got to speak like this for our women. Right. Not like this soft ass devil. Right. Right? You can't cleanse our women up, devil. Right. Right? You ain't no damn strong man. Right. You ain't the weakest man on the face of the earth, devil. Yeah, we talking right? to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you <laughs> damn demon. That's right. Right? You don't got the spirit of the Lord, man. Yeah, you, devil. Right. Right? The Lord, and listen, the Lord's words ain't for you, it's just judgment. That's it. You're reading the beautiful words of the Lord. That's meant for your destruction. Right. Understand that. All nations are not going to be in the kingdom, man. Right. right? You finished, man. Right. Right? Bring it out. Damn demons, man. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing, sisters? We are here for y'all in the last days, right? Teach our beautiful, our daughters of Zion, right? Teach. So, right, the brother came back. My brother. All right, hey, hey, throw that down right there, man. No, no, no. Throw that down, brother, because it's a disrespect to what we do. That's a false religion, brother. That's the damn devil right there, brother. You see that cross he got? That's that, hey, brother, you see the cross he got, brother? That's your destruction, brother. That is not for the children of Israel, brother. Hey, brother, all right, brother. I gave you a warning, brother. All right, all right, brother. All right, well, that's your warning. Hey, excuse me, how you doing? You believe in the Bible? Right? Our people don't believe in the Bible, man. Let me get what I had you. The book of Daniel, chapter uh, 10, verse 5. Bring it up. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of you fast. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes. Let me ask you a question. Y'all know what Jesus Christ looked like? Right. And his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Hey, hey sisters, how y'all doing? Do y'all believe in the Bible, sisters? Hey, what's that? That feedback. Alright. Hey, sisters, come here real quick, sisters. And how y'all doing? Do y'all believe in the Bible? 
Can I ask y'all a question real quick? Come here real quick. No? All the way up. Come here, brother. Let me ask y'all a question, brother, for the Lord, right? All right. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. All praise. Come. Let me get that uh, Psalms 23. Let me get Psalms 23. Let me get Ezekiel uh, 3. Right? Uh, verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 23, and verse 1. Bring it out. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So we got to understand that, right? The devil don't know. We come out here with the true spirit of the Hamashiach and Hawashai, who he ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? We are the living embodiment of the spirit of Jesus Christ because we seek to repent every day, right? Like the beloved Paul said, I die daily, right? So that I'm not walking like you people are in ruins, man. How y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Can I ask you a question real quick? Come here. Come here real quick. Come here, sister. Don't run. Real quick. Come here. I'm asking. You got to come here, though. What does Jesus Christ look like? You see that? They don't want to know. The people don't want to know. Why are you pulling that way, brother? Right? You see that? Hey, hey, can I ask you a question? No, you scared? You scared? I, I know you. I know you are, man. Cause you devil, you devil's got your feminine spirits, man. Right? Hey, how y'all beautiful sisters doing? Do y'all believe in the words of Jesus Christ? Can I ask y'all a question, real quick, sisters? Real quick. Is this Jesus Christ? Please. We're, we're trying. We coming out here for God's people in the last days. Can I, hey, sister? You, can I talk real quick, sister? Come on, two minutes. Madness. When you come back, madness. Well, you're not Jesus, sister. Right. Right. Jesus is a man, sister. Right. Right. Madness. You got to repent, sister. Madness. You got to repent, sister, and put off the masculine spirit. Man. You said to what? Tell my mama what? Oh, okay. Well, I'm telling you right now because I would tell my mama to take off that masculine spirit. Right. Understand that, right? Right. We speak truth to all people. That's right. I don't care who it is, right? And you don't have to love me no more past the truth, right? I don't give a goddamn. Right. You understand that? You don't have to love me past the words of the Lord. Right. Right. That's fine. Let them stay over there, right? Because Ooh. they don't, they don't, they don't like our words, right? Ooh. Let me get Isaiah thirty and nine, right? Right. Because they don't like what we say, right? They don't, they don't, they don't have the care of the words of a brother. But that's why I said, man, Ooh. a lot of times we gotta read these spirits and not give too much time to these damn devils, man. Oh. Right? Then we put on the appearance of an Israelite. You might be from the lands of an Israelite, but you ain't got the spirit of an Israelite. Oh. So we gotta <laughs> cast you off, man. Right? We gotta cast you off. You understand that? We got to not keep company with those type of people. Wait. Or we got Israelites that don't want to keep company with other Israelites that's trying to repent. Right. How wicked and evil is that? Right. right? We're supposed to be coming together, man, and removing ourselves. And listen, even the Hamashiach dwelt with the sinners and the publicans, right? right? So how much more am I not to walk with another Israelite that may be struggling? He may, he may have made a mistake, right? So shouldn't I still build with him? Shouldn't I still sit down with him? Right. Shouldn't I still teach him, right? God. Shouldn't I still have a drink with my brother? God. Shouldn't I still shout around my brother? God. But our people don't have that spirit, right? Yeah. You got a spirit of division, right? Up. A spirit of deceit, right? right. A spirit of a hundred, uh, I got a hundred percent truth, brother, right. Right. right? So I don't want to listen to you. Right. The Lord only dealing with me, but you know what I'm finding out? I'm finding out that a lot of these brothers that say they got 100% truth, they just only want the word for themselves. Yeah. They don't want the other people of the Lord to wake up, right? They want they they want themselves to be the 144,000. They don't want the 144,000 to rise up. They don't want the people of the Lord that was sent out before to raise up those people like the rebels, right? To raise up the Valley of Dry Bones, right? You want to be the only one. The only one that God love is thou, right? It's a shame, man. The word ain't just for you, brother. The word is for the sands of the sea, for the children of Israel, right? You do a disservice to the nation by keeping the word solely just for your camp, right? The word is for all people, right? And these heathens, right? At that cross right there, what you got there, man? Old school, 666, huh? That's what you should have, right? And what he represent, he got... He got two he got two sixes and a dice with the six on the back, right? What a devil. You what? see that? Representing his old self. Wow. Old Satan, right? In the flesh, <laughs> in the flesh right? Don't even 
old serpent, right? That old bastard, right? Hey, excuse me, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? I got a beautiful word for you, come here. I got a word for you today. I'm trying to tell you, come here, give me two minutes. I got a beautiful word for you, right? Go ahead, my brother. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse, uh, verse 9. Bring it out. That this is a rebellious people. We do it with our A rebellious people. people. The children of Israel is a rebellious ass nation, man. Right. Right? So the Lord had to send us out here like Ezekiel. You understand that? The Lord had to send us out here like the prophets of old to a rebellious ass nation, right? You got that Ezekiel 3 and 1. You understand? Go ahead. All right. Let me get that Ezekiel 3 and 1. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So listen, man, the, hey, the brothers of the Lord right here, your house can we eating the word up in the last days, man. And we're going to give the word to the children of Israel. You understand that? We're not hiding in the corners of the street, not talking to the people, not keeping the word for ourselves in our camp, doing secret videos, teaching the damn rocks, teaching the trees, teaching the damn sky. You understand that? Teaching the ocean. You right? Ain't nothing wrong. That's cool if you want to do a little video or something, right? But we got to come out in the trenches in the last days, right? Like Ezekiel, you understand that? Right. We got to edify the people. We got to engage with the spirits, man. Right? Go ahead. Verse 2. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And that's what we did. We ate the roll of the Lord in the last days, man. Go ahead. And he said unto me, son of man. Who? Son of man. You looking at the son of man right now, right? Go ahead. Cause thy belly to eat. Hey, this is not the Lord right here. This is a devil. Hey, sisters. Sister, how you doing, sister? Can I ask you a question real quick, sister, please? For the Lord? Y'all don't have two minutes for the Lord, sister? See that? Nah, sister, you bumping up, sister, but you don't really got the spirit of the Lord, sis. They don't love God. Right? You, you are what? So come here and talk to me real quick then, sister. Don't run down the street. See, our people got a problem with taking a hundred steps and turning around to break their neck, right? Just come up here and just bear with us. I'm good right now. Yeah, just come up here and bear with us. You don't understand? Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. And fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Let me get verse 17. Verse 17. Uh -huh. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman. What did he do? I have made thee a watchman. Now you're looking at the watchman of the Lord, right? We have the same spirit of Ezekiel for the children of Israel, man. Right? We woke up to come out here and give y'all the word, man. Right. To be a watchman of all nations, right? Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Come here real quick, sis. Hey, don't, hey, you waving, beautiful, but come over here and get the word, sis. You got to come get the word, sis. Come here. Don't walk by the word, sis. Right? Come here. Come here. Don't run, come out. Go ahead, come out. Hey, right, come here real quick. Come here. Don't run, sis. The Lord is calling you this day. Hey, get over here, Yashua. Make them come. Right? Gather them over here. Come on, sis. Hurry up. See that? Hey, you gotta cover up those, sis, alright? Right? Cover them cheeks up, sis. Right? You got to get away from the devils and cover your ass up, man. All right? Go ahead. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Hey, how y'all doing? Is this y'all's God? Is this Jesus? Hey, what does Jesus look like? Yeah, man. Go ahead. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Hey, y'all got to hear the word at the mouth of the Lord, man. Right? When the men come out here with this book, Y'all should be listening, man, right? Instead of trying to have a good damn time. Go ahead. And give them warning from me. And we're giving you a warning. That's why we're blowing the trumpet. That's why we started blowing the trumpet for the people today, right? Because we're giving you a warning. We want you to repent, thus saith the Lord. Go ahead. When I say unto the wicked, Hey, Black Adam. Hey, Black Adam. Hey, what's good, brother? Come here, brother. Come build with me, Black Adam. Come on, brother. Hey, we got a word for you today, Black Adam. Right? The children of Israel, come on, man. Our, our people truly don't want that, that spiritual power like they think they got, man. They don't want it, man. Right? 
Black Adam. Go ahead. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Hey, brother, if you stay wicked, you're going to die with that Black Adam on, brother. Right? You're going to be finished on that day, brother. Right? Go ahead. And thou givest him not warning. Because our people come out here, they work out all week. They think they strong, right? They got their muscle drinks. Hey, you doing all that for nothing. The Most High going to make you a weak man on the day of, on the day of battle. Right? Because you ain't doing nothing he told you to do. You gonna have all the muscles for nothing. Right. Right? Esau going to pick you off quick, man. Because you finished. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing? You believe in the Bible? Is this your God? You laughing, brother, but answer the question. Is this, uh, is this your God? You don't see that? Hey, that tripped people up, man. That's why you got to keep throwing it up right here. Hey, my what's going on, brother? How you doing? Hey, is this your God? Hey, so so come on, build with me, brother. Hey, how y'all doing? This y'all God? Is this Jesus? Hey, what's y'all God look like then? Y'all Muslims? Huh? Y'all Muslims? Hey, how you doing, sister? How you doing? Come here, sister. Hey, come talk to me real quick, sister. No, come on, sister. Hey, you might not. Hey, you know what? We see you all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, brother. And thou givest him not warning. Because, listen, we got to give our brothers warning, right? And that's what we've been doing, right? You always can't come out here week in and week out to give warning to the people, right? right? To teach the people to engage with the people, right? Rather if they hear or forbear. Go ahead. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked Go ahead. from his wicked way. And if we don't come out here and do this work, right, to warn the wicked of their wicked ways, to tell you that you're going to hell off in the last days, right? To tell our sisters that you gotta cover up, right? To tell our men that you must turn back and repent, right? To come back as a mighty warrior of the Lord in the last days, right? Because we're at battle. To see our young women out here like this, right? And how y'all sisters doing? Can I ask y'all a question real quick for the Lord? Y'all in that much of a rush, y'all shouldn't even be out here. Y'all look like y'all 16, 17 years old. Yeah, 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 all right, come here. You got time for that, right? But listen at this. Let me ask you this. Is this your God? Not with the horns on his head? All right, fine. So look at that guy on the floor right there. Is that Charles God? Come here, sis. Up here, sis. Come here. I want to know. Is this Charles God? Real quick, sister. Come on. We teachers, right? Y'all in school? You graduated? All right, cool. This is going to be the best schooling you're going to get in your life. Is that your God right there, sister? Because he ain't got horns on. So your Jesus look like that? You No, nah, yeah, it's different people because listen, they changed the images up for you. They gave you different white images to distort you. So you would never look at yourself as the true people of God. Right. You understand that? So that was a blinder for you. That was a veil that was put over our people for a time. You understand that, sister? So now when you look at this, you must understand what the true image of your God look like, right? Bring so can we give that to you today, sister? Watch this right here, sis. We're going to give you the true image of God. Bring it right? out. We're going to keep bringing it out for our people because that is a lie right there, sister. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So, sister, understand this, right? What is your nationality? Black, okay, cool. So black, you can't go, where, where, where can I go to the land of black ass, sister? Ain't nowhere, right? Because listen, we don't have an army, we don't have our own dollar, we don't have our own hospitals, we don't have nothing. Every time we built it, they tore it down, right? So listen at this right here, right? This is why you gotta come back to knowing what your power look like, go ahead. Verse 14, let me get verse three. Verse three, Salaki. Blessed is he that readeth, so sister, you're going to be blessed after you get this reading today, right? Go ahead. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. So we're going to prophetically break down the word of the Lord for you right here. And y'all sisters, come hear the word too. Go ahead. And keep those things which are written therein. So after you hear this living word, sister, we want you to keep these things therein. Go ahead. For the time is at hand. Understand the time is at hand, sister. Let me get verse 7. Verse 7. Go ahead. Behold. He cometh with clouds. Understand this. One day, sister, when you look up in the heavens, right? We're supposed to be looking up for the times and the seasons, right? So behold, your power is coming with clouds one day. Go ahead. And every eye shall see him. You're going to see him one day, sister. Everybody out here on Glenwood Avenue is going to see that faithful day of the Lord. Go ahead. And they also 
which pierced him. And all those that pierced our Lord, right? And have pierced him with this false image. Let me get Revelations 11 and 8. Go ahead. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. All the kindreds of the earth is going to wail because of the sight of the Lord, right? Because our people was given this false identity, this false representation of the true Messiah, right? This is what they gave us to deceive us in the last days, right? Let me get that. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 8. And their dead bodies. What is the children of Israel? And their dead bodies. Our people are dead because they are the true spirit of the Lord. Go ahead. Shall lie in the street of the great city. This is the great city right here, right? Go ahead. Which is spiritually called. What? Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. This place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt because of the captivity and bondage of God's chosen people and also for the homosexuality that you see all up and down the streets of Glenwood Avenue. That's all you see up here. Right? Right? That's, that's all you see up here is filth in the last days. Right? right. Go ahead. In verse 14. His head and his hands. Go ahead were white like wool, right? As white as snow. Huh? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now understand this, sister. The, the Messiah, right, was a black man with woolly hair. When you look up that word, uh, woolly, sister, right, it go back to the Negro, the hair of the Negro, sister, right? When we got this hair right here, like my brother right here, right? Right, we, we don't touch it, that hair go up to the sun. That's how we get our power, sister. That's how you get connected to the source, sister, right? But they wanted you to put chemicals and perms in your hair to destroy that source, right? To take away the true essence of God's people, right? Go ahead. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet, like unto fine brass. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. What color is fine brass, sister? It's brown, that's right, that's right, sister. Right, hey, right. so I'm brown, he's white, he's brown, you said I'm black, right? But understand that, there's power in that, right? Our Lord was brown, right? But let's see what he said, go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. So he was so brown, right? It looked like he was burned in a furnace. He was a black man, right? Like my brother right there from the tribe of Judah. You understand that? Like you, sister, right? Your Messiah looked like you. You got to understand, that's right, look at that. That beautiful smile, that lit that sister up, right? You see that? And that's what we got to do to our women. Right? We got to build you up. But you know what? Our women have to repent too. You got to put on a beautiful work. Show that right there. Let me see that real quick. Show that. Let me see this real quick. See that for the camera real quick? Show that, sister. Look at that real quick, sis. Because our people don't see that, right? That's the beautiful Russian icons, right? Right? Over there in Russia, they look at those images every day, right? But over here, they're giving you this. Ask yourself that. Why is Vladimir Putin right now in, in 2023, as they say, holding up black images of the Messiah? Why is the Pope of Rome right now kneeling down? Look at that right there. You see that? We got images for days, right? Why is that so? Why are the black images right there on the walls and they gave us this, sister, to deceive you? They gave you that so that you would never come back to understand who you are, right? Let me get Jeremiah 17 and 9, right? Let me get Jeremiah 4, uh, 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 what's that? Uh, 17 and 4, 17 and 9. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. There you go, sister. Yeah, come on, sis. All right. Go ahead. In verse 4. Right. Listen, sister, listen. And thou, even thyself, Let me get Ecclesiastes 17 and 10. shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So you got to go, sister. You too much in a rush. You gotta, all right, sister. All right. So it says, listen at this. Read that one more time. Thank you, brother. Come. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Sister, we're serving our enemies right now. Sis, you understand that? These so-called enemies are these Europeans right here that put us in slavery, right? That's our enemy, sis. And we got to come back on this side, right? And we don't want your food. No, no, no. You go find a homeless man and give it to him. Go ahead and keep walking, okay? We don't need your food. Right? But if you want to cash your dollars right here, we'll take that, okay? Go ahead. 
and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So hold that right heritage. there. So watch this. This is the heritage. Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 9. Yeah. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. Understand that, sister, right? Go ahead. And the law. And the what? And the law. Oh, so the law. You got to start to come back and understand God's law, sister, for what? And the law of life for inheritance. Uh, the law is life to us, sister. That's our heritage. That's what we went away from. That's what, hey, get out the camera, man. Damn, what's wrong with you, man? Have some sense about yourself, man. Right? We're not weak men up here, man, okay? Right? You're going to be finished on that day. Right? Did, hey, did y'all get a sister a card? Yeah, sister. Hey, hey, look, sister, check this out, right? Let me show you Let me show you a prophecy real quick that happened to her. Hey, sister, can you come up here real quick, sis? Real quick, sister. Hey, this is for you. This is beautiful words for you, sis. Come up here and be fed with the word. Let me get, let me get Deuteronomy right quick, right? Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter for the sister. We're going to run it down for you real quick. And, and, and look, the Lord is going to bless you for your for your attentive ears, sister. Understand that, right? Seal your sister right there with this word, right? <laughs> you all right? What you smiling at me for, man? I'm a man, right? I'm an old man over here, devil. You smiling in my face for it. That's crazy, man. Go ahead. What you mean? Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. 15, come. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So sister, right here, right, we're, we're giving you the understanding, right, that you're children of Israel, right? So you must come back to the commandments, right? That's how we're going to be redeemed in the last days, right? Let me get 1 Kings 8 and 46, right? Go ahead. That all these curses Hey sister, we are people under curses right now If you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments Under the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah You're going to continue to be cursed, sister, right? Let me get verse 68 real quick for the sister Because I know your friend is leaving We just want to feel you real quick, right? We just want to feed you real quick with the word of the Lord Go ahead The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68 Go ahead And the Lord Shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hey, sister, understand that somebody stink, boy. I tell you. Good Lord. Boy, they walk back here funky. Somebody walk by here funky, boy. It smell like Grand Central Station. That's crazy. Hey, come here, sisters. Yeah, go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hey, sisters, so Egypt is another word for bondage of slavery, right? When you read Exodus 20 and 2, right? Go ahead. With ships. With what? With ships. So the children of Israel went into slavery on ships. What other people went into slavery on ships? Yeah. What other people went on slavery on ships? Say it, sis. Come on. Say it, man, real quick. Say it. Come on. Come on, sis. All right, but you said black folk, right? So the sister said black folks. Okay, go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Hey, sister, was we sold to our enemies? Right, go ahead. For bond men go ahead. and bond women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem us but the Hamashiach Yahawashah, right? Let me get Luke 1 and 68, right? And Jesus. Right? Hey, you don't know who Jesus is, so you can't say nothing in his name. Right? Because that's not the true name of the Messiah, devil. Right? So everything you do is in vain, right? Go ahead. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Listen at this, sister. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Your God is not the God of everybody, sister. So if they told you that, they lied to you, right? It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. So the Lord is going to redeem his people. The Lord is going to bring his people back to him, sister. Go ahead. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Yeah, watch where you're walking, devil. You see that? Go ahead. As he spake 
by the mouth of his holy prophets. So we just was reading the mouth of the holy prophets, right? We was just reading the book of Moses, right? Moses was telling the children of Israel how they was going to be redeemed, right? Go ahead. Which have been since the world began. Go ahead. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from who? From our enemy. Who's the enemy, sis? Do you know? Let me get Nehemiah 5 and 9. Who's our sister? Who's our enemy, sis? What? Hey, come on, sis. Come on, sis. Say it. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. The white people is our enemy. Say it out loud. These damn Chinamen is our enemy, sis. These damn Arabs is our enemy, sis. These damn police is our enemy, sis. All these damn nations is our enemy, sis. Let me get near.